Welcome back to another Under Pressure Review. Today's a little bit different because we have already done a full under pressure, under pressure review on this gun. This is the Rapider Weapons or RAW HM1000X LRT. That's a mouthful, so to keep this video a little bit shorter, we're just going to call it the RAW for the rest of the video here. Now, uh, we did a video, we did a review on this and uh, the gun in 25 caliber. Now we've got one in 22 caliber and we wanted to put it through its paces and see how it does. We've heard a lot of great things about, uh, about this gun in 22 caliber and so we're going to test it out. First thing we're going to do is go to our 100 yard range and do some 10 shot groups and see how it does there. Now, when I was sighting this thing in and getting it set up, I did have to tune it down a little bit. I mean, these guns come basically tuned perfectly from the factory, but because we're at 5,000 feet elevation here, um, I, I got a little bit better accuracy by, by backing off the hammer spring here. So instead of shooting in the 930s, you know, up to, you know, 935, up to 940, it's now shooting about 910, 915 feet per second. Extremely small, uh, you know, extreme spread, and as you will see, very accurate. We're going to do a little experiment here. I've got 10 JSB 18 grain pellets. We're going to shoot them down at 100 yards. They're going about uh, 1,056 on average feet per second, so they're really smoking down there. Now this target, this uh, ring's a little bit too big, so I'm going to aim for the 9, so expect the group to be up around here. And uh, let's see how it does. Okay, now that is a surprisingly good group for shooting pellets at, you know, well over a thousand feet per second. Now I had a couple of them. Uh, this one was, uh, when I put the pellet in, it felt really stiff going in. So I, I think it had, you know, a larger head size than the rest, or maybe I put it in a little crooked. I felt like I should have just pulled, you know, shot it off to the side, but anyhow. So when that one came wide, that was not the gun. That was, that was the pellet. Otherwise, We've got about an inch and a quarter, nine of them in that. And this is unsorted pellets. This is just straight out of the tin. I mean, that is really remarkable. That shows a lot of promise. Uh, it really makes me want to go back and sort some pellets and try this again. In fact, I think I'm going to shoot one more group and we'll see how it does.
So again, a pretty darn tight group. Now, uh, you know, if we count them up, we've got one here. Uh, we've got, you know, two, three, four, and then uh, the other six are right here. And I, and I know that at least some of this was mine. I mean, a couple of these broke, broke left and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of on a, you know, a wobbly platform here. My gun's just resting on the bottle on a bag and not really stable. I really think that I need to come back and get a, a more solid rest because when I felt good about the shots, they all went <laughs> just right there, covered up by my pinky. I mean, that is just pretty phenomenal uh, accuracy out of this gun. I've said it a lot of times before, but what I really like about poly barrels is how fast you can push them and it still is, they still remain stable. And, and this is in them. This is well over a thousand feet per second. So anyhow, let's put some monsters in there. Uh, these, instead of the 18 grain pellets, they're now going to be a 25.4 grain pellet and we'll see how they do. We're outside today. We've got targets set out uh, from 75, 100, and 150 yards. So I've got silhouettes set out here at 75 yards. We're going to knock those down and then keep going. And that's four dead animals. Now we move out to 100. I've got uh, four spinner targets down there. They're one inch spinners. And then we've got the silhouettes. We'll see if we can clear them all here. Well, had a miss on, uh, on the end there, but, uh, but pretty good. Pretty darn good accuracy to 100 yards. Now for the 150 yard long ranger challenge. Golf ball's out at about 153 yards. Uh, I'm going to hold uh, just a little bit less than two mils uh, pat, you know, over from the 100 yard zero that I had. I've got a tailwind you know, that's kind of moving between three and six, seven miles an hour. Uh, you know, I'm not too worried about it. We should still be on. Uh, let's go ahead and see how it does.
And there we have it. That's a pretty darn quick Long Ranger challenge. Really happy with this gun. And that was a lot of fun. First, let's look at the 100 yard groups here. Now this is the JSB 18.13s, the heavies, and these are going well over 1,000 feet per second here. Uh, and now this is the one where I felt it going in that, that it was harder going in. I could tell the head was a little bit larger at that point. Uh, but that's, that's the rest of the group. You know, nine out of the 10 went in 1.2 inches center to center, which is, you know, really, really good. Uh, but I thought that we could do a little bit better. So this was the second group we shot. Now, nine out of the 10, again, are in one inch. Now that was the first one, and I, I'm pretty sure that was on me, just, just settling in and, and uh, you know, just pulled the trigger wrong. But uh, if we count them up here, I mean, there's that first one, and then there's the other three here, so that's four shots. And the other six shots went into these, this hole right here. I mean, you can see, you know, I mean, that's, that's a third of an inch. And again, I was, you know, I hadn't, you know, I've set up a, you know, a, a pick rail on the bottom now into the M-lock rail and had a bipod mounted for all the outdoor shooting. But I was just off this, you know, wonky rest that was, that was really giving me grief. I really think that uh, with sorted pellets and on a better rest, you know, we, we, we could see a, just a phenomenal, phenomenal group. As it is, you know, that's about one inch. Really, really darn good. Uh, and the thing is, you know, pellets going over a thousand feet per second, especially a lighter pellet like the a relatively light pellet like, like the 18s, just shouldn't be able to go that fast and be that accurate. Um, the other thing I want to point out here's here's our uh, you know the JSB monsters is that e even at a hundred yards, the heavies were hitting higher. I mean, they were going fast enough there and maintaining their velocity that they were actually hitting higher on the paper than the heavies. You know, out at 200 yards, that would probably uh, be reversed. But out at 100 yards, that velocity difference uh, kept them up pretty high, which is really cool, too. Now, uh, these are the JSB monsters. Now, uh, a lot of them, as, we wa as you watch the footage, you know, there's a couple down here. But the rest all hit right there. I mean, basically cover that with my finger. The whole group is just under an inch, probably eight out of the 10 or, or near a half an inch. Again, just extremely good velocity or, or uh, you know, accuracy. Just, uh, you know, really phenomenal. And, and there's still, like I say, there's wind in that tunnel. You know, they've got powerful ventilation going on. You can see the target kind of fluttering in, in the breeze down there. Uh, but I was just really extremely happy with the groups here. And I didn't have to work for them. It was really just sit down and shoot. And, uh, and that's how the gun performed. Then when we went outside, you know, we started out with really good, you know, not, not a lot of wind, a little bit of a tailwind, but not much. And then on the golf ball, the wind picked up. Uh, but still, four shots to blow up a golf ball at 150 yards. Uh, that's excellent in my book. So I hope you've enjoyed this. We just really wanted to show off some of the accuracy that's capable with this gun. And uh, these groups have really whetted my appetite to go back now that uh, I've actually got a decent, uh, you know, we can put a decent bipod on there and, and get some better groups. I'm excited to see what this thing's really capable of. But I think we've given you a hint of uh, why these guns have the reputation they do. So if you've enjoyed this, we appreciate you liking and subscribing if you haven't already. And stay tuned for the next one. See you next time. Okay, we've got some rimfire sensitive explosives set out at 83 yards. No reason for that distance, just because that's where we put it. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. This, it, hopefully the pellet's still going fast enough to set it off, and I don't really know what the dope is, so it may take a few shots to get it dialed in, but here we go. Well, that was pretty easy. Awesome. <laughs>